the brigades? No, uh-uh. Not my baby. Papa Bear to Mama Bear. You copy? Now's not a good time, Papa Bear. I got two kids in the car. Over. Where are you? You okay? You sound worried. Just stay off Route 42, okay? Promise me, Mama Bear. You broke up. Papa Bear, you still there? I had a feeling she was Mama Bear. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back on Road 96, where we are in a sidecar with the dumbest criminal on the planet. So, yeah, apparently we hitchhiked and we got picked up by good old Stan and Mitch. <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, you know what? We've got a metric ton of money. Things are going pretty good. I'm feeling good about this. I'm just going to, well, basically be friendly with them. So, hey, thanks for the ride. Oh, or do I want to tell them their bike's cool? You know what? In spite of the fact that I'm on record with exactly how I feel about motorcycles, I'm going to tell you that this one is awesome. Hey, kid! On your travels, have you met a woman named Sonia? Oh yeah, I have. A couple of times. <laughs> what are the chances? A hundred to one? No, a thousand to one. And what did you think of her? Oh, you really don't want an honest answer to that, do you? You know what? She was nice. Of course she was nice. Sonia, even in her celebrity, is still a highly sympathetic individual. Okay. All right, then. But now, some troubling news. Sonia is in danger. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know what? I don't think they're going to get sarcasm, so... Oh, no. That is troubling. Someone wants to end sweet Sonia's life. Our plan is to stop this would-be killer. Before they kill Sonia. Yeah, before. It's going to be difficult to stop the killer after he kills Sonia, don't you think? All right. Well, you know what? That's a really good plan. Our hunch is the psycho is a taxi driver. And that this creep plans to do so on election day. It's certain. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was going to say taxi drivers aren't usually violent, but I have evidence to the contrary. So it seems like you two know a lot. Yeah, we do. And on a variety of subjects. Taxi driver? That would make sense. What doesn't stand is why the kid's in the sidecar. It being in the shape it is. Um, what's wrong with the sidecar? You've gone and scared the kid, Mitch. Did, didn't I? Aw, oh, shoot. Ask us a question if you'd like. Could take your mind off your fear. Hey, hold on a second. What's wrong with this sidecar? Looks fine to me. Oh, okay. Uh, got any survival tips for the road? Steal as much as you can. Yeah, we do that a lot. I actually did do that and it didn't work out terribly well, but you know what? Yeah, I can steal. I don't have an issue with it. It's much harder than you think, kid. Yeah, you have no idea. Well, yeah, because every time I steal it, somebody, not naming any names, <clears throat> steals it away from me. Um, okay, you sure the sidecar is safe? Long as you leave. Turns. Does that mean there's a turn coming? I'll lean into the turn, sure. Just move left and right. Give it a whirl. Okay. Not bad. Are you actually going to make me lean into the turns now? Well, not yet. Uh, that was great. That's nothing. Get on up here, little lady. Don't be scared. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Go on then. Please tell me I'm not going to get killed. Okay, apparently I'm not ready to lean into the turns yet. Oh, I got to climb up on him? Seriously? Oh, God. Okay. What do you think, kid? Yeah, what do you think? Uh, this is amazing. Please grab the handlebars again, psycho. Oh, hey. 
guess who that was. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing them into the turns. Oh. Ow. Okay, so the trick is avoid traffic. Gotcha. Whoops. I am going to get killed is what's going to happen. Can we please not screw this up? That was better. Last minute change. Swap back. Be a bit of a tight fit, but we should be able to make it. Somebody coming in the oncoming lane. That's fine, we'll catch you. Don't worry, boys. I see they're getting a lot closer. Oh, shoot. Okay. Played that one rather badly. And that one. How's my sidecar doing? 50% health? That's fine. Um. Will we please get to where we're going soon? Pretty, 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 please. Oops. Alright. Got it back under control. Feeling good about this. He's getting away. That's fine. We'll catch him. I'm feeling there was going to be a car on that corner. Crikey. Um. Shoot. That's fine. We just nicked him. I'm going to go back over on this side here for a minute. Oh, okay. Um, where did the road go? Was that it? Taxi stopped. Could be a trap. Oh, can I get out now, please? Show this driver the beast, Mitch. Oh God, the beast again. I actually don't like their odds in this one. Here we go. This had to be good. So, kid, did you get a look at the driver? Nope. Oh, do I have to tell you up here? Uh, he's a big guy with no hair. That's my recollection, too. Wait until Mitch gets his hands on this creep. What the? Why is he coming back? Oh, nice person. People like that don't deserve engine trouble. He's leaving! That wasn't the would-be killer, Stan. Way too nice. You let Sonia's would-be killer go, Mitch! I did not. Besides, I didn't see you get off the bike. You were scared. I was not scared! Okay, you two, can we please just... Let me out now, pretty please, with sugar on it. I'd very much like to get out. Ah, oh, you know what? I bet I have to talk to them again, don't I? Yep. Neither of you was scared. Kid's right. Uh, let's look on the bright side. We're getting closer. We are. We almost got that psycho this time. Stand and match! What do you want to do now, little lady? I am happy to just get dropped off as soon as possible. Thank you. Yourself, kid. Now, how much headway did we make? Oh, we're getting close. We're getting really close. I just got to get through like two more chapters without getting killed. That is all. Take your time, do it right, okay? Well, here's the thing. What I need is food or a place to sleep or both. And this place does not look like it's got much of either. All right, not gonna let me go look at the car across the street. Oh, no, 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 no. That's right, you keep going, my dude. I do not want to chat with you. Oh, shoot. I have a feeling I don't have much choice. Is he whistling ominously? Yes, yes he is. Hey, can I actually... I can't get by this rock. Is there a path I can sneak around? Please tell me I can sneak. 
It's not letting me sneak. All right, is this your house? Uh, you know, I don't want to explore in here. I really don't. I don't have a choice. Oh, all right, well, we've met him like three times and we've died every damn time. Not eating the rotten food. The kid told me not to do that. Oddly enough, him I'm not gonna steal from. All right, well, will you give me a ride at least? You know what? I actually saved you, so please put down the gun. Don't tell me what to do, Brigade. I'm not a brigade. I'm not one doing the talking. Understand? I knew you'd come back to your van. What are you on about? That's not my van. It's not my van, man. No, but you come here sometimes. You and your brigade friends. Okay, I've been listening for a few seconds, and yes, there is definitely somebody in his trunk again. Um, you know what? I'm not in the brigades, I swear. What did I say? Now, get in your filthy van and find me a light. <laughs> what did you shoot? I feel like having a smoke. Absolutely, sir. And since this isn't my van, and you think it is, I am now going to steal the money. Because why not? I'll take did the matchbox. Did you find a light yet? Yes, I found a light. I'm on my way back. Here you go. Found those easily, didn't you? I knew that was your van. It's not my van. Now we're gonna play a little game. Ugh. It's called Hot and Cold. I used to play it with my daughter. Tick tock. The game has started. Call. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. His, uh, his daughter was the one that was in the letters we read in the last episode. All right, I'm going. I have a feeling... I, I had a feeling this is where he wanted me to go, and I have a feeling that I'm dead. You're on fire! Okay. That's a good brigade. Not a brigade, now. dude. A surprise for you. You like surprises, right? No, not your kind of surprises. Grabbed I don't. Can. All right. Well, he still just ordered me around, so maybe, just maybe, Good. we can get away with this. Now, put gas on everything in the van. Everything. Absolutely. That's the surprise. As long as I can watch it from a distance, I don't mind. Oh goody, there's propane tanks in here too. Life just gets better and better and better. Actually, that wasn't the surprise. Not really. I had a feeling he was going to burn this thing with me in it. Um, if I say he doesn't want to do this, he'll tell me that he does. If I tell him to let me go, I doubt he will. If I say I don't understand, maybe I've got a shot? So, dude, I just don't get it. You still don't? your surprise is. That means it's a good surprise. The surprise is we're gonna burn the van with you in it. Not all that surprising. And I'm not a black brigade. I did everything you said. Uh, you know what? I did everything you said. And you deserve a treat. I'm not a brigade. Maybe you aren't. But why should I risk it? Because I saved your life a few minutes ago. No. It's much too late for that. Wait a minute, you have a daughter? Uh, you know what? Tell me all about her, please. You're just stalling. No, I really do want to know. Go! But tell the other brigades I'm coming for them! For what they did to Lola! Go! Absolutely, dude. I am out of here, and I am gone. See ya. Okay, that's fine. Can we just please, 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 please? 
Hit the bloody road. And holy crap, I can't believe we met him and friggin' survived. <laughs> uh. Oh, that makes a pleasant change. It's gonna cost me two energy. I've only got three, but you know what? Yes, please. Get me the hell away from him. Okay, well, so far on this trip, we've met the truck driver, we met Sonya, we met Stan and Mitch, and we met the dude. So we've met pretty much, well, the truck driver and all the horrible, annoying people. And all we've got left now is Zoe, Fanny, and Alex the Kid. So from here on out, we actually should be in pretty good shape. Let's find out. Okay, we got the kid. Please, kid, tell me you got some food in here somewhere. I wonder if it would actually be safe to call Happy Taxi now that we've, like, dealt with the dude. I mean, I'm still really scared to try it, and I don't know. I might actually have to have a number for that, too, so... Here's a thought. Kid, I'm gonna come in here, see if you got any food. Ugh, I don't get it. I've tried everything. And I'm gonna try and help you out, and then I am gonna get the hell out of here. Right, real quick, let's go see if there's anything we can salvage out of these cars. Guess I'm just a normal genius. Not a genius genius. Oh, no, you're Real a genius genius. Hold depressing. on. Okay, we got something we can look at. Dear Sarah, I found a new place to spend a few nights. An abandoned van next to a gas station. Holy, the gas station owner, who seems okay. to be a big tire exporter, doesn't see me. You got this. Hope you were well. I take it that didn't go terribly well for him. Now, can we search any trash cans around here, or do uh, we just have to go I help the kid? I've tried everything. I'm coming, kid. Hold on. I gotta see if there's any money in here. Nope, not eating the rotten food. Thanks. I'll Guess risk I'm just it. a normal genius, not a genius genius. Yo, depressing. Okay, well we got another one we can check over here. Please have some money in ya. Okay, let's start from the beginning. You got this. Nope. Is this a place I can sleep over here in the corner? I can't really tell. No, it's just a rock. All right, well, we've got a padlock door, which is apparently not something I can interact with. I don't get it. I've tried everything. Hang on, kid. I'm coming. Jesus, be patient. I gotta explore stuff first, you know? All right, real quick. Guess I'm just a normal genius. Play a cassette. A genius, genius. No interest in that. Yo, depressing. Yeah, is there any food in here, kid? Because I'm pretty sure you don't own this place, so if there is, I can steal it without feeling terrible about it. Okay, let's start from the beginning. You got this. All right, kid, I'm gonna help you. Okay, why are you? Tell me you're not building an explosive device. Hi. Dang. What are you, a ninja? Yes, I am. Sorry, I frightened you. It's cool. Actually, nice to see another teen. I was starting to think I was the only one. Oh, uh, you're not a teenager. You're about five. Okay, is that a? Well, it's a prototype. You can't actually detonate it. I've been designing it for this guy I know. Robert. Okay. Um... Do you live here? For the moment, yeah. But it could be worse. So, uh... What's the best way to get around? Depends on your fiscals. But word is, there's a psycho cabbie dude out there. Yeah, I met him. Um... Okay, you know what? As long as it gets Maybe me across, I don't mind. Boss, but dead stuffed in the trunk. Sorry. Homie went a little dark there. Wait. I got an idea. You can be my rubber duck. I beg your pardon, Vanilla Nice? What is that? A rubber duck is someone who listens to someone else describe a problem. If all goes well, the solution presents itself to the person talking. Okay, you know what? Fine. Cool, cool. So first I check the resistance with my voltmeter, and everything seems okay. Then I clean the captors, checking them too. A bit painstaking, but whatever. I removed every screw, nut, and bolt. And the motherboard. I put them back again, but it still didn't work. Next, I checked all wires. Green, red, yellow, whatever. And they all seem okay, too. 
and that's it. I checked everything. Literally everything. WTF! Have you turned it off and on again? You're a genius! Okay, you know what? Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> to turn on the electricity, we need to find the generator. Could be anywhere at this station. Grab this nail gun. I got another idea. Um... Okay, the generator's right there. See the cable in the ceiling? Shoot the tiles to see where it goes. That's how we'll find the generator. Okay. Oh. Oops. Apparently I'm not a terribly good shot. If it's headed in this direction. Oops. Um, alright, that's a dead end. Oh, it comes out over there. What the hell? Okay. Oh, I see. It's behind that rafter. Alrighty. Sorry. <laughs> okay, kid, you are a little bit annoying, but I give you credit. You are kind of funny at times. And we're running out of rope to shoot here, so... Hopefully, we'll find it sooner or later. Almost there. Yes, we are. Um, hold on. I'm gonna guess it runs behind the rafters again. Yes, we should follow this one. That's it, homegirl. It's going outside. Let's check it out. I'm really tempted. Ah, oh, it's not gonna let me shoot him in the butt with a nail gun. Damn it. Here. And there's a bulletin board with a bunch of cool flashy stuff on it. Alright. <laughs> we'll use the federal master key, I guess. We just got started now. The key should be around here somewhere. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay, the key's here. I think so. Oh. Okay. Thanks, kid. I was testing it. Yeah, I'm fine. Relax. Oh, wait. Try with this magnet. Thanks. Really appreciate that. Okay, now, how do we maneuver things here? Oh, I see. I just gotta get it out, maybe? Without touching any of the flashy bits, I'm guessing. It shouldn't be too, too hard. Now, just scoot it up through there. Is that white thing that zipped past, is that dangerous too, or is that just a thing? Go slow, homegirl. Kid, I am going so slow, you wouldn't believe it. Luckily, I'm playing this with a mouse, because I cannot imagine trying to do this That's it. Yeah. with a controller and a joystick. All right, give it a little bit of love, but don't hit the side one. Cut that kind of close, not a big deal. Where is out on this little board here, exactly? Okay, right there. Thank you very much. Nice. You got it. All right. Let's start the generator. Gotcha. Behind you, kid. We got company. Hi. I'm right behind you, kid. The lights are on, but the station sure is in bad shape. You know, that's why we need Tarak for another ten years, and not that Flores, to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen elsewhere. Hey, want to scare these Tyrak supporters a little? The cable goes under their car. I can make it act. And their car, too. Yeah, this place looks closed. Foreigners and teens. They're ruining Petria. Do I have a choice? Apparently, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Quit fooling around, Jim. I just got electrocuted touching the car. This is one of your jokes, isn't it? No! See for yourself. Why would I try to electrocute myself? Fine. I don't feel nothing. Gotta touch the car! <laughs> ah, see? I told 
told you. I didn't believe you. I know. Hey, look over that. Whoops. Time to run, homegirl. Why is it every single time I end up behind you, kid, I have to take off running? That's it? I'm hiding here? I'm gonna lose all my damn money, aren't I? Okay. Here's a thought, though. I'm almost dead. I absolutely have got to find a place to sleep, so... Is there a place around here where I can crash? Please tell me this is a place where I can crash. Yes, I definitely need to rest. Now, just let me get out of here in the morning without running into anybody else. I will be completely over the moon. Okay, so far so good. Now, is there... Oh, hello, what are you? You know what? I don't care. I'm eating it. It's not rotten. There's four bars of health. If I could get just one more built up before I hit the road, I would be really happy about that. My right, kid's gone. Took the bomb. Tell me there's some food in here somewhere. I'm not seeing any. Can't get anything out of the dead vending machine. Can I go check the manager's office again? Nope. Alright, well, four's gonna have to do it. Let's hit the road. And I think this time, just to save the energy, I'm gonna hitchhike. Okay, apparently we didn't go anywhere in that one. Oh, we're with Franny again, or Fanny, I guess her name was. It's gotta be her, because she's got all the pictures of Alex. You're lucky I found you. Know that? Both of you. Oh, hey, we got another fellow passenger here. Hello. Hey. You okay? I am, actually. It's over. Uh, what do you mean? I can go home now. Okay, where'd she find you? Not far from where she found you. Must be a hub back there. You were trying to... Be careful. Yeah. I heard a kid cross with a smuggler. I wanted to do that, but there was too much security. Sounds lame. But I can't wait to sleep in my own bed. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Right. And have a home-cooked meal? Yes. Prison food has to be better than what I've been eating. Hey! What are you talking about back there? Um, where are we going? To the nearest station, where you can call your parents. Okay, uh, do I try and bribe her? Hey, why'd you pick us up? I recognize you from the missing posters. Both of you. Your folks must be worried sick. Uh, can I ask you a question? Actually, I'd welcome a little chit-chat, kid. My job can be awfully quiet. All right, do you get along with the other cops? Most of the time. Uh, can we talk about your kid? Because that would probably change your mind the way you'd let me out. All right, are there bad ones? It's just like any other profession. You got your good apples, and you got your bad ones. Okay, you seem like a good cop. That's because I am. All units, we have a code 10. Brigade radio communication in progress. The source is coming from somewhere just off Route 42. Over. Today's my lucky day. I'm gonna finally find this brigade transmitter. Unit two here. I'm northbound of 42. Over. Okay, you know what? We can talk about your kid. What? You sure? Oh, he's not. 
shoot, you know what? He is kind of mixed up with the brigades because he was building them a bomb. The brigades? No, uh-uh. Not my baby. Papa Bear to Mama Bear. You copy? Now's not a good time, Papa Bear. I got two kids in the car. Over. Where are you? You okay? You sound worried. Just stay off Route 42, okay? Promise me, Mama Bear. You broke up. Papa Bear, you still there? I had a feeling she was Mama Bear. Is that billboard ahead? Ow. Luckily, I'm partly deaf in one ear, so I'm used to it just basically ringing 24-7. Uh, do we crawl out through her, or we kick the door open? I'm gonna try kicking the door. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try crawling out. Oh, you know what? I would actually take the money, except I already have way too much. So, we're fine. It's all good. I'm not stealing from a cop. Now, the question is, can I actually help you? Uh, can I actually get out of here? Oh, you know what? I'm not stealing food either. Am I stuck? Is there a way out of here? Oh, I see. Around the front. Okay, can I help you? Save the teenager. Sa you know what? I'm saving Fanny because she's Alex's mom and she seems like a really nice person. Oh, are we at the border? Please tell me we're at the border. Please tell me we made it. Okay, we are nine miles from the border. I think that means we're at the point where we get to choose how to cross. Okay, I recognize this place. We were here in... Well, it would have been the second episode, but it was our first road trip. So yeah, all we gotta do is find that little cave, grab some sleep, and hit the border. There we go. We got 155 bucks. We got two energy. Border. Here I come. Alright, we should be seeing the line of trucks here in a second, yes? Yep, there's the line of trucks. And that's a good sign, it means that the snack guy's here somewhere. And that looks like the snack guy. Oh, I think we're gonna make it this time. I really think we're gonna make it. Now, the question is though, do we want to pay the smugglers or do we want to pay the truck driver? I'm thinking... Yes, please. I'll have ten dollars worth of food. And I'll have a six dollar drink. Um, not worried about that on the TV. I'll even give three dollars to the fortune pig. What did we get? Before leaving, take a moment and consider the choices you made. You know what? Not worried about it. The choices actually helped. Oh, you know what? The thought occurs. There was also a mountain path we could have taken if we had the energy. And this time we do have the energy. Okay, we've got three options. Actually, we have more. We can force ourselves into the truck. 
We can try and hike out through the cave. Or we can pay the truck driver. I'm thinking the less people know about us, the better. So, yeah, maybe we'll hike out through the cave. I don't know, though. I got so much money. I could just pay the truck guy. No, that makes me nervous, because if I do that, and I end up, uh... And they end up searching the truck, we're gonna get busted. So, yeah, let's go climb out. Okay, well, we still got all our energy, which is a major plus. Hopefully there aren't any border guards or anything up here. Yeah, this path is definitely steep. Whoops, hold on, something's happening. Is this it? Am I free? We took an energy hit. Not a big deal. I mean, it said it was going to take four to get across. Does that mean we're going to lose them, like, one at a time? Because I can live with that. That's not terrible at all. I'll tell you what, there's a hell of a nice view up here. Um... 85% chance of jumping. Let's jump. There's a dice roll I'm glad paid off. Now, does this mean that I actually do have to take some risks to pull this off? Because the inside of the back of that truck is starting to look really nice right about now. Alright, well, let's just carry on, see what happens. Okay, this is ominous. Um, well, it's wet and cold, but we're used to wet and cold, so that's not a big deal. I don't know where this storm came from. I mean, it was really nice a couple minutes ago. Okay, we got a cave. Oh, you know what? I think I have a sprint. Yeah, let's take shelter. That seems like a good idea. Please, can the storm just go away now? Okay, that was the second hit. So, we should have two more little sections to go, and then we are across. I just hope we don't have any more gambles like the jump thing to deal with. Alright, what is this? Remnants of explosives possibly used in the bombing of 86. Um... Okay, it's just a flashback. I was having a really bad moment there. Okay, this should be it. The big push. Okay, let's sit. Did we just ride down? I don't know if I trust this contraption. Oh, are we just enjoying the view? Oh, there we go. Sleep. Yes, please. I can use some more energy. Just God help me if my restless leg syndrome kicks in and I end up going over the side of this friggin' cliff. Oh, 
okay, that's me. Hello, little me. Am I here? Did I make it? Oh, okay, that must have just been a dream. Alright, well, let's just press on. Which direction am I supposed to go in? Okay, apparently I'm going in this direction. And what the hell is that on the end of the stick? That looks like more dynamite is what that looks like. Um, I swear if this ends in me getting blown up, I'm going to be extremely cheesed off. No? Do I go back this way now? Oh, you know what that was? That was a backpack with a sleeping bag on it. And there looks to be one down there as well. Yeah, don't screw this up, kid. Really don't screw this up. Alright, where'd that little campsite go? Right down there. Am I just weaving, like, back and forth and that's where I'm gonna end up? Oh, hey, I get to be Dave and clamber down a rope. Freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. Their journeys have only just begun. All right. Well, finally, we made it across the border and we are free. Oh, my God. I cannot believe how close we came to dying in that one. <laughs> I mean, I really thought the taxi driver had us. But, oh, you know what I just noticed? Down here in the corner. See where my cursor is. Okay, apparently I don't have a cursor on screen to show you. But, yeah, over there on the left, it says taxis, most of them anyway, give you a chance to rest. So maybe it is okay to call a cab once in a while? I mean, I think we probably need to have a phone number for that, but yeah, it might be something to keep in mind for the future. <sighs> oh my god, I am so glad we made it. And yeah, on that happy note, I think I'm going to leave this one here. So as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Road 96. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one.